Hi everyone, welcome back, and yes, old Tesla Cat's back in the studio. We figured we'd throw a few punches to the bears. <laughs> Little uppercut there. Welcome back, and of course, I hope you are having a great day. Some of you might be a little bit tired. National Championship football game, at least those on the East Coast. We watched Georgia just absolutely dominate, and hats off to both teams for making it to the championship, and congratulations to the Bulldogs. Now, with that being said, there's a lot of things out there when we get back into this market, and the question becomes, what's going to happen? And it kind of reminds me of that football game. We go into this, we're optimistic, we want to see things happening, and we think it's going to be a fair match, us versus the Fed, but the Fed is not going to be easy on us, and I think they continue to overdo it, and it leads us into that recession. So even though we have a few green days here and there, and just like yesterday, you watch that market just rise up. It was a beautiful start, and it came crashing down. And we ended up with the S&P 500 a little bit red, which we'll review a little bit. But uh, the big thing is what's going to happen. And they're worried about inflation. But here's the thing. I'm telling you this right now. A stimulus check will be on the way, I believe, before the end of 2024. Why? Why, Mo? Why would you believe that? Because if you check the last three recessions, the major big, you see these stimulus checks coming out. We had the 2020. We had the two other ones before then. Major stimulus checks. The Bush presidency era. They anytime you have these big uh, these big recessions, the government goes right to stimulus checks. Just give some money out there, prop up this prop up this uh, economy, and we'll see what happens. And so. We're going to take a look at what I think is going to happen and a lot of states. And if you don't know this, and I, I'll tell you what, every time I research this, it is eye-opening. So if you're like, owner of my state's giving out free money, you might be surprised. So I'm going to go over that list too. And uh, of course, we're going to take a look at, first things first though, uh, some of the stocks out there, including Tesla and Neo. Now, before we do, make sure you take advantage of this link for Moomoo. Deposit $100, get five free stocks worth up to $10,000. Deposit $1,000, get up to 15 free stocks. Well, you will get 15 free stocks. Could be worth up to $30,000. And, of course, the Weeble link, deposit $100, get up to 12 fractional shares. Take advantage of both of those. I always tell people you like to have multiple accounts, and you can't beat it uh, out there because Weeble gives you fractional shares, and Moomoo has one of the best stock screeners in the business. So take advantage of that. Uh, now, come on over to the Patreon as well down below. I do have the link in the description for that. I've been putting out, I started finally getting to put out the Patreon only videos for the members. So you guys can go over and check that out as well as here on YouTube. And we have anybody, a Tesla Cat supporter higher, that will be pinned in the comments or you can find that link in the description. Now, as we take a look at what I wanted to show you already, which was the market yesterday, and you can see this right here. We had Tesla up almost 6%, Neo up 3.76, and they were up a lot more until the market came down, all right? And so when you see the market coming back down, and you can see this right here, it was a good day. And all of a sudden, what was a good day, uh, ended up going down to 1.46% down off the top. And then on top of that, you, you ended up red. It wasn't even up for the day. So I thought it would have been a great day, but it didn't. Now, for those wondering, for those in the Patreon, you know I ended up buying a triple lever short, an inverse position for an ETF. And we made some good money off of that. It was up 5% before the end of the day from the initial purchase, which I made a video on yesterday. So for those who are wondering, yes, we are out there doing what we believe needs to be done. And the, the, big, the big thing is everything's coming down to the government and it's coming down to the Fed. The Fed's fighting the government. For those that don't know, the, the main issue right now is inflation. Inflation is so hot in the States that the Fed is just absolutely cutting any op uh, any opportunities out there for growth for the economy and a lot of businesses by raising these rates up. In doing that, they're trying to bring inflation down, but it's also going to hamper the growth of the GDP and a lot of other things. It's going to bring real estate back down. Unemployment is going to go higher. Make no doubts about it. You will see unemployment above 4%. I actually believe it could get up to 5 to 6% before the Fed is absolutely done. They are nowhere close to being done with what they want to do. The damage will be done because they're going to hurry it. They could be patient. We could stretch us out a year or two, and everything would work out fine, but they're going to continue to raise rates when they don't need to. 
And thus, it's going to push us into a major recession. And thus, you're going to have what? That's right. You're going to have a federal stimulus check. Call it the fourth stimulus check. I expect stimulus checks in 2023 or 2024 from the government. And depending, and I'm talking about the Fed, depending on how bad this is, how bad of a recession we get. And yeah, I still believe we're going to have one. And no, I'm not, a, I'm not out here trying to spread fear, uncertainty, and doubt. Everything from historical data in these financial markets tell us that we are going to have a recession based on so many different points. You can look at the three-month and the 20-year, the 30-year, and the 10 and the 30, all these different inverse. Uh, and when you watch that, then you see these. And you know over history, it means 90 to 100% chance, depending on what you're looking at, every time it happened before you had a recession. Why am I going to go against that? I'm not. Even though everybody's going to come out and say, oh, we're going to we're going to do well. We're going to have a soft landing. I don't believe it. And they're not talking like they even want a soft landing. They want real estate to drop. They want unemployment to go up. They want inflation back down under 2% very quickly. They don't want to wait two years, three years. They want it down now. They messed up. It was not transitory. They look like they didn't know what they're doing. And now they're here to make amends. And so when that market went higher, when it shouldn't have, and everything was supposed to be, oh, yeah, it's just transitory. Everything will be fine. It'll be a normal market. And then it blew up. They got mad. Now they're going to make sure they fix that. And so that leads us into this. Uh, and, there, and for those who don't know, major news. If you didn't see this, IRS announces an average payment of $1,232 sent to millions of people. Start, and they just did it. Why? What's it based off of? I believe here it is. Uh, the American Rescue Plans Act back in 2020, and it dealt with the unemployment back in 2020. And so a lot of people, and you can just pause the video here and read it, but 12 million refunds were sent out and are going to be sent out here. And this totals $14.8 billion that's going to be sent out to everyone. And so if you're wondering, and you're like, what? Specifically, up to 10,200 unemployment benefits were paid out in 2020 would be excluded. So in 2020, if you had unemployment benefits, they're supposed to be excluded. Uh, if you are, uh, you can read it right here, taxable income for each spouse. If a couple filed their taxes, married, filed it jointly, the exclusion was applied for those who made under 150,000. And so that's 12 million people. And so there you go. There's your first stimulus of 2023, but it's not because it was already part of what they were doing back then. And then we move into the states, California, millions of Californians getting inflation relief checks, either as direct deposit or debit card. Uh, there you go. And then as we go down, Colorado, they got uh, have filed their 2021 returns by June 30th, should have gotten a physical check of 750. And you can see Delaware, you guys can just pause this. I'm not going to read through every one, but you can see it. All these states, all these different states are doing what they need to do. Hawaii out there. Boy, I wouldn't mind being out in Hawaii right now. You can read them. Idaho, Illinois. You got stimulus checks all over the place. Indiana, Maine, Massachusetts, and then Minnesota, New Jersey, New Mexico, New York, Pennsylvania, my home state. Uh, what do we got here for that one? Um, 260,000 older homeowners, renters, and people with disabilities started receiving their part of a massive $121 million payout issued through the property tax and rent rebate. The maximum standard rebate is $650. And there you go. At Rhode Island, South Carolina, Virginia, and that's it. So a lot of states out there doing their, their money and getting it out there. So more stimulus. Let me ask a question to the audience. Do you believe we need these stimulus checks out there? And some of you and I know you're going to get fired up about this. You're going to say, these aren't stimulus checks. These are overpaid taxes, overpaid taxes this year. My argument or whatever year it was is if your state, and this is how I feel about it. If your state has any kind of deficit, any kind of debt that it hasn't paid off and it's running, you know, it's way up like our national debt, that needs to go pay that off because that was years that your state paid, uh, it ended up spending more than they took in in taxes. So that one year you finally have taxes paid more than were needed, everybody wants it back. Well, that's not how it works in a regular household. If you overspend one week, future weeks have to pay that off. 
And that's the way it should be with the government. We can't give them a pass and say, oh, go ahead and spend all you want. Oh, we did. We paid too much this year. Oh, let me have it back. It's not how it happens. You got to pay off old debt, too. All you're doing is strapping this on for future generations, which is not fair. It's not fair at all. And all we do is kick the can down the road because, hey, I'll let them worry about it. Uh, to me, it's just sickening watching this happen year after year after year. All right. So let me know down below. Do you believe the federal government? in 2023 or 2024 should have another stimulus. Do you believe these states should have another stimulus that they've been doing? That you know They already did it. Uh, what do you think about all this? I know we needed it in 2020. We had everybody stay at home. I got that. I absolutely agreed with it. But now we move towards the next years and all the states are doing stimulus, but they're yelling about inflation. So what they did is they gave them a meal today. They gave them a meal today. You gave a hungry family a meal today. And you know what it does? It takes two meals away from them down the road. That's called inflation, my friends. And that's exactly what this does. You need it. You, you really do need it. And I understand. And they give you a meal and you're happy. Your family's eating. Down the road, now your family's going to lose two meals because inflation will take that meal and an extra meal away when you have to pay it back in the terms in the form of higher payments for that meal. And that's a sad thing. And I'm not, li I'm not liking that at all. All right. So that's the update today. And I, I will say this, that we see NEO and Tesla doing its thing. And I, I do believe, I had a lot of questions about, do you think it's going to, the turnaround is here? I'm hoping that if anything, we've already hit the bottom and maybe trade sideways for a little bit as we go through a recession down a little bit during a major one, but nothing too, uh, nothing too much. And that's what I'm hoping for, especially for NEO and Tesla. But we'll wait and see. I don't have a crystal ball like some of the people in DC. If I did, I would let you know. All right. So that's the update. If you haven't done it, get those free stocks from Moomoo and Weeble, $100 deposit for each. Click the links in the description. Come on over and join me at the Patreon. You can see the private Discord, see the portfolios, the buys and sells, the high risk, all of it. And now we have Patreon only videos over there. Plus we have that on YouTube for Tesla cast supporters or higher. Take advantage of it. I appreciate you stopping by. Let's get out there and make some money.